What's up, people? Welcome back. This is Total OS Today, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. Well, today, just a quick look at Shotcut, a fairly new video editor, at least new to me, that's available for both Linux and Windows. I was trying to use or normally use Kden Live, but for whatever reason, it just does not work the way it should, at least in my Zubuntu 14.04. Now the ironic thing about Kden Live, it works best in a virtual machine using Debian. Now there are probably several factors involved with that, I won't go into that now, but Shotcut seems to work better. Multimedia, at least in my tests, seems to be a continual problem for Linux depending on what matchup you have between the software or the distribution and the hardware. And I guess a lot of that can go, uh, can be related to what type of graphics drivers you use, graphics cards, possibly. But for this one, a quick tutorial on Shotcut. Now again, this is available for both Linux and Windows, and it works very good in Windows. In Linux, it works most of the time. I had to go into the settings here and change a few things or experiment to get this thing to work right. Anyway. Let's do a quick edit on a video. So let's go to um, open folder. Let's go to desktop. We'll go to ransom. This was a short video on ransomware for Mac. What's up, people? Welcome back. So it automatically plays it. Let's go ahead and drag it with the, with the mouse holding the left button. And we have it down here. So we have uh, the choice of source or project. I want to go to projects. I'm going to drag this because I want to add an intro here in this blank space. So let's go ahead and find an intro real quick. Let's use numbers. Okay, so I'm going to drag this down here. All right, and if we play this, I won't play the whole thing, but let's go here. What's up, people? Welcome back. Okay, that's a nice seamless transition between the intro and the video itself. So far, so good. Now, let's say I wanted to cut out a portion of the intro. Let's say instead of starting it here, I want to start it here so I can click here highlight here where I stopped right click split at playhead click the left portion of this remove and we should be good to go okay let's say I wanted to add a fade out to the video so I don't think this has a fade out let's take a look here no it does not okay so let's go to filters the plus symbol and you have many choices here video or audio filters we'll go to video and as you can see many many choices here let's go to the fade out video which is this and you can change it, the duration of the fade out. We'll leave it at one second. And there we go, the video fades out. Now let's say I wanted to render this. Uh, let's go to, let's see, export. Now many, many exporting choices here. For me, the fastest seems to be either um, let's see, I would say Flash, Kodak, usually between four or five megabytes a second, um, or I will go to HD video, 72025p. You have different codecs here. I pretty much leave this uh, the way it is, the default settings. 
uh, average bit rate so we have video codec audio again I leave this the way it is so I will click um, export and we can save it to the desktop we'll just uh, label this a test save and you can see here in this pane that it's starting to render the file now, obviously the the faster processor you have the faster computer you have it'll take less time but this is not too bad for a um, HDV file high definition file in 720 uh, video I did test it in 1080p and there really wasn't that much of a difference very uh, I guess if you stared at it you might notice so this does a pretty good job I think better at least for me in rendering files much faster anyway that it does in Kden live obviously you can do a lot more things with this much more than I can do in this short video but if you are looking for an alternative to Kden live or if you are having issues with Kden live in whatever distribution you are running you may want to take a look at this because this one so far works pretty good and it is available for both Linux and Windows so let me know if you guys try it out at least for me it's working better at least for now. All right, well, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Don't forget to subscribe and support this Total OS Today technology channel. Enjoy your technology and please don't text and drive. Be safe.